Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to look inside of Space Empire's Replicators, the second expansion for the Space Empire series from GMT Games and designer Jim Crone. Uh, again, this is the second expansion. This has been out probably for uh, a couple of years now, 2017, but you can't ever tell 100% that it came out that year. But uh, in fact, it says Expansion 2 right there on the side. So we'll crack it open and see what this adds to the game. Uh, obviously, it keeps the solitaire friendliness of the game. Now, of course, you will need the Space Empires game, also from GMT. So make sure you have that if you plan to pick this up. Uh, the first thing we got is a rule book for the expansion. This is just the expansion rules. It's the full color um, matte finish. Uh, always, always quality GMT production. Um, it clocks in at about 32, no, 28 pages. And one thing I have seen on uh, BGG for uh, Under Space Empires is someone has taken uh, this rule book, the rule book for Close Encounters, and the base game rule book and combined them all into one rule book. Uh, so if you're playing a game with both expansions, uh, and I believe it has a color coded for uh, this is part of that rule set, etc. So uh, definitely want to check getting that out and printing that out to have one central rule set. And we have another card. This is like the ones that came in the Close Encounters uh, expansion, but this is for a new race, I believe. Player aid cards, ship and research. There's four of those. Actually, it looks like there's five of those. So I believe this expands it to a five player game. That's what this is for then. Yeah, this expands it to a five player game. So you in this one for the replicators, you get uh, five player aids, ship charts, uh, slash uh, research search charts. Now we're gonna get production sheets, pad of production sheets, a much thinner pad, because you'll have to print your own out. Uh, this is for if you use research centers. This is for if you don't use research centers. And we've got one more, I think, stuck here. Looks like it's the glue kind of held together there. And this is the replicator production sheet. All right, now here are our replicators. And these are actually some very large counters. Um, it's probably going to go on the main board because they're hex-shaped. Uh, we'll start with Planet Sheldon. Obviously a reference to uh, the Big Bang Theory, I would guess. And Sheldon has asteroids, so we need some preparation A for that. Um, so these are these are nice thick. These are the replicators. Right? And they come in all different colors. So we've got purple and yellow and red and green and blue. All right. So we do have them for all five players, having the replicators. And then we've got some planet sheets, or planet counters. We've got some black holes. Looks nothing like the pictures we saw the other day. Uh, nebula. These are double, no, these are not double-sided. They're asteroids on the other side. And then here we just have some asteroids and some more nebulas and unrevealed on the back. All right, this looks exciting because I don't know anything about what this adds. I have. Uh, I was not a fan of Space Empires when it first came out, or when it when I first tried it, I should say. Uh, but kind of relying on the community buzz, I decided to pick it up again, along with both expansions, and give it a shot. So, asteroids, supernovas, warp, warp points, fold in space. You know what? Even if it was in space, I would fold it wrong. I cannot fold close to save my life. All right, and then we get another couple sheets of counters to expand our experience. So there's the, the replicator counters are all purple, and then these these add on to the uh, all the counters from the second expansion and the base game, along with some additional uh, markers. And then at the bottom we have a deck of resource cards. From GMT. Reveal at the end of the game an onboard workshop. Each CV, BV, and Titan may be used to build one fighter during the economic phase. So these are different resource cards you can use. 
I don't know how they work because I have never played it. So, and then of course the usual GMT bag of bags and their divider that usually gets thrown away. So, if you pick up the Replicators expansion to Space Empires, which is the second expansion to Space Empires, uh, you're going to get a deck of resource cards, bag of bags, two regular counter sheets. I didn't number these, but it was a lot. Five, six sheets of hex tiles, three pads of production for various states of production, five, since you're going to have five players now, five player aids, an additional fleet chart, uh, rule book, and that is all that comes in the Space Empires Replicators expansion from GNT Games, designer Jim Crone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe, and God bless you. Bye-bye.